Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechy.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions and everything technology related. Yesterday, someone that came in the chat room at live.besttechy.net and asked me the question about PageRank. For those of you who don't know what PageRank is, PageRank is essentially um, Google's way of ranking a web page. Um, it's not site wide, it's page wide. It's hence page rank. Um, however, a little little factoid that most people don't know, PageRank actually got its name from the person who invented it, um, which is co-founder of Google, Larry Page. He named it PageRank because it's his rank, not actually because it's ranking pages. So it could have been called like Smith's Rank or something. I mean, it just happens that it's PageRank. Um, so that being said, how, how do you go about improving your page rank? How do you get you know, a, a five, a six, seven, and eight? You know, how do you get a page rank like that? Well, the answer to that question is uh, there is none. There is no um, secret way. There's no secret to 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 uh, building a good page rank. There's no one secret way to do it. However, there are little things you can do here and there to help improve your page rank. And I know this because I went from a four on BestTechie.net to a five in literally like six months or so. So it's possible. You can do it, and it's very. It's not very hard if you just have a good commitment to building a good website. Now, how do you do it? First of all, you need to have keywords. Keywords. Now, keywords are important because you want to have keywords that when you're writing an article, let's say a blog post, you want to keep all the necessary, all the, let's say you're talking about uh, Web 2.0. You want to keep all the Web 2.0 keywords as close together as possible. Very important. It may, it may seem kind of strange, but it's very important that you do that. If you're talking about a specific topic, try and group the words that are related to that topic as together as, as close together as possible. Um, also, titles. Give your blog post or whatever you're posting about a good title. Um, I try and do that all the time. Good titles are key, especially if there's common search terms. Now, it's even better if you can get your title into the URL itself using a mod rewrite or... Um, you know, uh, or uh, what they call SEO. It's oh, this is all SEO, by the way, search engine optimization. So that's another way, getting your title into that blog post. Like if you go to besttechie.net slash blog, right, and you click on the blog, you'll see. Let's see what we'll post is up there right now. What is systemlookup.com? If you click, if you hover over that 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 link, it actually says besttechie.net slash 2008 slash 08 slash 30 slash what dash is dash systemlookup.com. Slash. That's a good way to uh, in incorporate your title into the URL. It's called it's a mod rewrite, and that and that really helps. It acts as a form of a keyword when you actually search something, so you have you know double almost. Another thing to do is to um, now oh, actually let's tell you what not to do. It used to be a, there used to be what they call Google bombing, where people would link back and forth, back and forth on all these different websites and build up their page rank. Google doesn't work like that. Um, if you try and do that, you'll actually probably hurt your, your rank instead of improve it. Um, I talked about this, uh, this other tip I'm going to mention right now in another video. Um, registering your domain for a long period of time, such as 10 years or so, um, 16, whatever, I forget what the max is, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but 10 years or so, it actually helps your Google rank because it shows Google when they're looking at your domain that you're going to be around for a while. So it actually bumps up your domain above someone, let's say, who registers it for one year or two years or three years. So that does help. So keep that in mind as well. Um, other things you can do, I mean, of course, you can uh, post content daily try and, or every other day or as, as often as possible. Um, forums, blogs are all good, are all great search engine um, uh, ways to, uh, wait, are, 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 forums and blogs are both great. Um, for search engines. Search engines just eat up forums and blogs. They love them. Um, especially now when the blogs are so um, popular. Google loves blogs. It'll eat it, up, it'll eat it right up. So it's, if you're looking to build a website, incorporate a blog. If you have some kind of uh, support you know, type of thing, incorporate a forum. Those types of things are key. So that's, 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 that's way, those are ways to build your page rank. And um, you know, I don't know if anyone else has any other tips in terms of building page rank. Feel free to leave a comment on the blog or in the YouTube video or whatever, and uh, I'll, I'll you know well, either email me best tech at best tech and hopefully that helps someone else who's looking to build up their website and 
improve their page rank and status in Google. So anyway, this has been live.bestech. And until next time, we'll see you. And remember, take care of your computers.